Hey everyone, it's Chris again. Gonna show you what I have done so far for Black Ops. Have uh, I cheated and gave myself a bunch of unlocks so I could unlock various uh, abilities. There's new things like uh, quickness, makes your bullets fire faster, uh, resistant to special damage, lighter reloads, radar, um, move faster when hurt, no falling damage, jump higher, extra ammo, and kills restore health. First bullet you shoot after dying, does, or spawning does two times damage. All kinds of stuff. Uh, now I've unlocked everything, I gave myself too many unlocks. Let's start off with the laser, and I know you've already seen it, but the sword as well, uh, as my two items that I'm using. And we'll go with uh, a machine gun. So let's head back, and I'll show you every single special I've done. I've, I've made ten of them. So we go into a death match. Uh, I currently don't have lobbies right now, but I will soon. So let's try the sword first. You've seen this guy before. He has a little burst of speed when he attacks, uh, and he creates little uh, invisible bullets when he swings his sword that you can't see, but that's what kills the other people. The laser shoots through walls. I actually have to make it go a little lower. It looks like it's shooting a little high out of the gun. Laser shoots through walls and replaces your uh, gun temporarily. I'm going to probably add some kind of special effect to your head, just like the sword did. Uh, those two specials, I use them just now because they actually can't be used at the exact same time. They do change what your character looks like. And I did that because I thought it would be a little overpowered to shoot lasers and block bullets with a sword. Uh, so that would be kind of crazy. So certain special abilities cannot be used at the same time. Uh, let's change to uh, this guy and this guy. Syringe and I think it's Hot Foot. Hotfoot is the same as another ability from Loot or Die. It's just been tweaked a little bit and lasts longer and, and makes you fast. Uh, now my special abilities are on cooldown. Oh, there we, okay, so this one, this gives you back your life. So let me take some falling damage uh, and then hit my, my life comes back with syringe. Now if I want to go fast, I can use my speed and those flames do damage opponents. So if they happen to run on those flames, uh, they'll take some serious damage. Uh, those are those two specials. Let's go to the next. Don't want to take forever to do this. Got to get all new music, too. If you have any ideas for specials, I'm all ears. Here's a shield, which is also from Loot or Die, and Buzzsaws, which is new. Buzzsaws are kind of cool. Let's start. So I'll, I'll put uh, the shield on, which you may recognize, it's the same as before. Uh, it will block enemy bullets temporarily. Buzz saws, shoot buzz saws in all directions, kind of a nifty ability. Very similar to the flame ability uh, from uh, Loot or Die, but different effect nonetheless. More predictable effect. Um, okay, so that's that. Let's do a couple more. Do 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 do. Very excited for this game. I'm currently having issues testing the multiplayer though uh, because I don't have a second account. Uh, and that's because my first account ran out, or my, my second account ran out uh, for the ability to make these games. You have to have a membership. And with XBlink ending, they told me that all you have to do is email this address and you'll get a, your membership renewed. So I'm waiting for that to happen. I have done that once before for my other account. So hopefully uh, that gets fixed soon. I'll be able to test my multiplayer. So this is Blink, which you definitely, you got to recognize that from Loot or Die. That's like my favorite ability of all time. And then I have Vanish, which actually makes you invisible for a couple of seconds. It goes away quick, uh, but it's quite the ability uh, to blink and vanish and, and be waiting for someone to come by or whatever is, is pretty cool. I may extend the length of Vanish uh, just because I think with the explosion of uh, those little purple things, it kind of tells you that someone's invisible. Uh, but it is good for getting the upper hand on a, an opponent. So that's that. And I think I got two more if I counted correct. Or, or are we done? Maybe one more? Oh, we got landmines. And smokescreen. Okay, and that's, yeah, that's the last one. Last two. 
These are kind of nifty. Landmine is going to look boring right now because I can't trigger it because I'm only one person. But when it blows up, it creates fireballs in all directions. Uh, so now there's a little red landmine right there at my feet. It's kind of hard to see. That's on purpose. Uh, and then you can also hit smoke screen. Now that's not what it looks like to other players. To other players, it's not see-through. Uh, and then it's, as it starts to disappear and fade away, uh, you can see the people inside it. Uh, but that initial look, what it looked like initially, that's not what the other people will see. That's what you can see so you can actually tell where you're at. Uh, so that leaves a landmine at my feet. If someone were to jump on this, it would create fireballs in all directions and possibly damage more than one enemy at a time. And landmine comes up pretty quickly, so you could theoretically place a lot of landmines in a single match. Uh, it's only like a 20 second cooldown. Uh, but they do not kill a player normally outright. I haven't done too much testing with it, but it's really more that it, it does a decent amount of damage uh, and it could s seriously injure multiple people at once. Smoke screen is, uh, is pretty nifty though. I'm excited about that. Alright guys, good luck and have fun.